I'm in insurance, so obviously I'm very biased. <laughs> but <laughs> people, whether it's your boat or a home, mm-hmm. so you think about the investment in money that you make for a boat, especially a new boat. I mean, if yeah. you you go pick up a sixty thousand dollar rig, that's a lot of change, yeah. right? And you're going to be with that thing for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing with buying a house. So you buy a house, a lot of times it's it ends up being uh, one of the bigger assets in a family's life. And the first thing you say is you call somebody and you say, give me the cheapest, mm-hmm. worst insurance that you got. That doesn't make sense to me. Like <laughs> you, you, you go through all this to get a boat right. or, a, or a home and your immediate thought is give me the cheapest thing you got. That, so I always like, Time out. <laughs> Let's not go with cheap. Let's first work with understanding what the coverage does yep. and make sure that if you have a claim or something happens, we don't make this a financial disaster as well as an accident. So, yeah, yeah, because uh, you don't buy it for you know for planning on having an accident. It's what it's what right. you really need it. <laughs> You're right. So sometimes we'll get calls. You know, hey, I got this extra coverage and I haven't even used it. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> means your rate's going to be cheaper. <laughs> what, that, that means you didn't get into an accident. Like, yeah. you don't want to use this. But so to answer your question, uh, when it comes to boats specifically, uh, there's something called agreed value versus uh, actual cash value. And basically, an agreed value, let's say you had a $60,000 boat and you work with your insurance agent or company or little lizard online, <laughs> and you say... I, you know, I bought this thing for $60,000. If it was totaled, Mm -hmm. I want $60,000. Right. And boats depreciate very, very quickly, um, especially in the first four or five years. Right. So if you uh, get an agreed value policy, you're guaranteed that payout in the event of a total loss. If you don't get that particular value, you get something called actual cash value. And that is going to include depreciation. Okay. Um, I call it garage sale rates. Right. So um, let's take this, uh, you know, brand new Triton. You spent 60 grand on it. And in six years, it's totaled due to an accident. You're either going to get 60 grand, which will more than pay off your note and probably put you into another boat if that's what you choose. Or you're going to get 25,000 because it depreciated that far in seven years. And you still owe 50 because you right. put it on a 30-year note or a 20-year right, note. Right, right, uh, That's the biggest risk is how quickly these things depreciate. So always make sure you're getting an agreed value yeah, uh, absolutely. for the amount that's going to cover your your uh, note, your, mm-hmm. your loan. So. 